Hi, my name's Kurt Moses. I'm heading up our education practices area on the Global Learning Group of FHI 360. Um, this will be my probably 20th CIES conference. Happy to be here. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about some of our experiences in fragile countries, specifically how we try to generate higher quality education for a very large number of se severely impacted refugee children. Interestingly, when we talk about refugee children in these camps, many of them are overage. Uh, you'll find, for example, uh, particularly in refugee situations and post-conflict situations, people who are sometimes 20 or 25 years old in grade one. So the special challenges of creating a quality education environment are substantial. One of the things we'll be doing tomorrow is talking about one of the ways we've been documenting this activity. Um, this is a special mobile application which is running on tablets which allows us to get up-to-date information not only on location of schools, which is often surprisingly difficult to find, but also the core characteristics of these schools. So on various schools we can update all the primary information and then this can be extended to include how the children perform. Uh, again, children, youth perform. Uh, this could include early grade reading assessments, early grade math assessments, and also even periodic testing protocols that help us assess what's really happening. Most importantly though, the idea is to generate information that helps us help teachers be better teachers. Many of these teachers are volunteers, some have been refugees themselves. I want to talk about the special situation involved in that. And not just doing it once, that is to say, coming in on a humanitarian basis and doing, providing substantial aid for a period of one to six months. What we're talking about is providing light systems that assist a camp to provide quality education over a su substantial period of time. One of the things that the UN High Commission for Refugees has made clear is that for protracted refugee situations, which involves just over seven million people worldwide, Many of these protracted situations have lasted anywhere from 17 to 20 years. So the role of education in bringing along the next cadre, the next cohort of people, is substantial. We're looking forward to tomorrow, and we're looking forward to a really uh, good discussion, including using some of the most modern tools. Thanks for listening.